Sometimes you just can't stretch your budget anymore. You have stretched it so much that if you pull it any more, it could pop. Whether you are looking to make some extra income to help stretch your budget, or you're just looking to make some money from home, a lot of people are looking at side hustles and side gigs these days to help get by or just reach financial independence quicker. Today on Money Article Monday, we are going to talk about an article called Side Hustles and Ways to Make Money at Home. This gives some different side hustles you may not have thought about, so I thought it would be interesting to chat about it. This article came from thecut.com. This was written on or posted on May 17, 2019 and was written by Jessica Levine. It's called Side Hustles and Ways to Make Money at Home. According to a 2018 survey conducted by Bankrate, more than half of millennials are figuring out how to make money at home by embracing a side hustle, also known as extra cash to help pay off debt. If you've got a flexible schedule, side hustles can be a great way to achieve a financial goal. In this article, they give a list of 22 side hustles. So let's see what they are. The first one is get some voice work. People get paid to read voice over scripts for videos, advertisements, and audiobooks from home. Has anybody ever told you you have a good voice? This might actually be a good thing for you. I love reading or listening to an audiobook from somebody who can not only make the, the book come to life, if it's fiction especially, and but somebody who maybe has a different tone of voice or a level of pitch of voice for different characters. I'm reading, listening to one, I don't know why I keep saying reading, I'm li listening to one right now that has an amazing person who did the, the voiceover. So I think, yeah, if you've got the voice for it and the patience to do that, that could be pretty lucrative. The second one is to buy and sell used books. If you're willing to do a little legwork going to estate sales, thrift stores, library sales, you can find underpriced used books and resell them online. The Amazon barcode scanner can help determine whether a book is worth buying to take it home or resell it or not. I've never bought a used book online. Um, I've seen the used bookstores, which I have purchased some, but if anybody has an experience with this, you know, going out and thrifting books and reselling them, then definitely let me know. I'd be interested in hearing about that. The third one is to participate in research studies. Let me know if this sounds legit. Respondent, I guess that's a, a place or a website, will match you with research studies. According to the company, the average pay is $140 an hour. What kind of research studies pay $140 an hour? The next one is to license your pictures. If you have an eye for photography, you can also take your best shots and try selling them to stock photo sites like Shutterstock or I stock photo. I've seen this, you know, where you get, um, especially like doing what I do here as far as, you know, the thumbnails, you can go on and get to some of these sites like Canva, etc., and they have stock photos. So I'm assuming, I mean, somebody has to take those pictures and I, I assume they pay, they can pay people for them. The next one is to dabble in podcasting. It can take time to acquire a following and opportunities for sponsorship. But if you love to talk, try hosting, try a free hosting plan on a site like Buzzsprout, SoundCloud, Pod Podomatic, and Spreaker. Jeez, interesting names. Um, this is kind of the one of the ones that would, yeah, it, it, that's going to take time to get off the get off the ground. It's the same thing with YouTube. It took me three years to get uh, over 100 subscribers, and that's. Part, mostly my own fault for not focusing on what I wanted to do and not putting in the time or effort, but it's not something that, that paid off immediately. I think if it's maybe a passion, then it might be a better thing for you because that's something, something that takes longer to have any kind of a monetary payback. To do it and to do it consistently, you have to have passion for it. The next one is get crafty. Are you artistic? Sites like Etsy and Zazzle offer an online marketplace to sell what you make. Now, I want to talk to you guys. I actually am in the process of the beginnings of a small business. Um, and I thought about whether or not you might want to follow along on that process. It's a it's, I've already been working on it for, I think, three months now, and it's a lot to start. 
um, before you can ever kind of talk about it or get it off the ground, but I am starting a small business. So this is the icebreaker of me telling you that I'm doing it. Um, if you're interested, I would definitely love to include content about it, um, how I'm setting it up, what it is, the process of getting it off the ground. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you'd be interested. Put the comments down below. The next one is to design a tee. I love a good t-shirt. I don't know about you. Artists, graphic designers, comedians, and philosophers can take their skills to the apparel bank by designing t-shirts through sites like Cotton Bureau, Threadless, Teespring, Cafe Press, Printify, and Zazzle. They'll print and ship your designs and pay you the royalties. Yeah, I've seen this, like some YouTubers will have merch and Basically, they'll come up with a design. I think a lot of them use the Teespring and they'll, I guess you go on and you choose what kind of a shirt you want, what the design is, and then you can sell it, but you don't have to have inventory because they print it whenever it's, um, or they make it whenever it's purchased. So you're not out any money up front. This is again where you're probably gonna have to have a following um, of people interested in that, or you're gonna have to work your rear end off just to get it out there because there's, it's already so saturated. The next one is to rent out your spare room. Have a bed to spare? Consider renting it out on Airbnb. Just make sure to check out policies of landlord or co-op. Um, I've seen this a lot where, you know, people can rent out a room. I would not. Um, I, I, the protection of my child is the top priority for me. I, I guess if you were in a situation where you know, it was just you and you wanted a roommate, but um, I've heard some horror stories and that's just mm, not one that I would jump on board with. The next one I don't think I would do either, or rent out your car. Anytime your car is sitting parked, it could actually be generating passive revenue for you through companies like Turo and Get Around. Just like Airbnb for an apartment, renting out your car for a few days a month could make enough money to cover your payments on it. Uh, I see the way most people drive and uh, no, no, I, th there's gotta be some insurance issues there. Uh, yeah, nope, not, not doing that one. The next one is to cash in on Instagram. All that time you spent posting could pay off if you have a following. With 1,000 engaged followers or more, you may be able to start working with brands, influencer marketplaces, etc. Eh, I have another video on on this about all of the you know the influencer consumerism. Yes, a lot of people make a lot of money on this kind of stuff, but I'm of the fact of I now have a following, and I not on Instagram because I'm not, but on YouTube. And I would never want to um, break your trust. So if I were to um, recommend something to work with a brand, I mean, it would have to be something that I've used for years prior. Um, I know a lot of people do this and, you know, do what you need to do to make the money you need to keep a roof over your head and feed your, your family. I completely understand. But um, just check out that video. I'll link it right up here. I go into way more detail about this. The next one is starting a blog. If you've considered it but felt unsure of where to begin, attend one of the many annual blog conferences like Blog Her to find out more. Well, I doubt that's actually happening now, but I do know that there's a site called Medium. Um, you know, like the size, small, medium, large. So check it out. And I've heard Google medium on YouTube. Um, the reason I say that is I've seen some people talk about how medium is a site where you can blog and it already has like the template to put things together and it throws out your, your writing to people who are members of medium and you can actually make money. There's there's YouTubers who talk about the money they've made. So if you like to blog or you like to write, that might be fun. Um, definitely look into that. It's something I looked into for a bit, but then I just thought I'm, I'm already way stretched as it is. Um, but check that out, especially if you have an interest in something very unique, something very niched down that you could write, you know, 100 blog posts about different aspects. That might be something to look into. The next one is the time old good one of take care of kids. Do you love kids? Do you actually miss babysitting? 
I guess you can create a profile on like these uh, babysitting um, websites. All of this stuff they have linked in this article is um, within the article. So I have the article linked below. So you can go in if you want to look at any of these sites they reference. But yeah, taking care of kids, babysitting, gosh, I've heard that's pretty lucrative <laughs> as far as that goes, like the amount of money that babysitters make now. The next one says, if you don't like kids, take care of pets. Yep, dog walking, pet sitting, definitely a time old true way to make money. It says, do you wish you could just get paid to cuddle with your dog or someone else's? You can't. Apparently there's apps that you can do this through. Um, I think people are very particular about their kids and their pets, so I don't know how, uh, I'm sure they do interviews to, <laughs> to see if they, they wanted people to take care of, of either their kids or their pets. The next one is, if you don't like kids or pets, work with seniors. I don't know if you have the patience to work with, don't, not work with kids or pets, then okay. But anywho, to make some extra money from home while also connecting with others, consider applying to make phone calls reminding seniors to take their medication. Is this a thing? I mean, okay. The next one is teach an online class. This one is probably going through the roof right now. And again, this article was written in 2019, back before everything went crazy. Um, so like online learning has just obviously gone gone crazy. It's like tutoring, etc. It says, do you have a skill or some kind of experience that people could benefit from? Game says teaching online courses can be surprisingly lucra lucrative, often earning course creators more than $100,000 a year. Oh, I guess teach an online class, but it almost looks like teaching a course or creating a course. And again, there's places that you can go to do that through different apps. The next one is to tutor, which I mentioned earlier. You probably remember more from high school than you think, but there are online tutoring sites that hire tutors with expertise. So check those out as well. The next is freelance in special services. You can do so many jobs using skills you already have working remotely. HR, graphic design, writing. Are you kidding me? Talk about like graphic design. Um, for the small business I'm looking at, I was looking on Etsy um, for like brand logos and stuff like that. And my goodness, you can just come up with a logo, especially if you're creative, and sell it over and over and over again on Etsy. And that's passive income. You create it once and it keeps generating um, money, but you never have to do any more work on it. The next one is become a virtual assistant. Maybe you have a knack for making other people's lives easier. I've heard of people having virtual assistants. I bet there are a lot of virtual assistants right now that didn't start out as virtual assistants, but are now that way. This next one I have heard many a time. And honestly, I don't think that it's worth the amount of time it takes to make any money in it. But let's see what this says. Take surveys for actual money. Yeah, you can make money by offering brands your opinion for their consumer research. Maybe not a lot of money, but it could add up. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't have any other choice and, and that's all you could do, but sit there and answer questions all day long. Um, but I don't, I looked into this and it's not a lot of money for the amount of time you put into it. The next one is to become a website critic. Yes, people will pay you to give opinions about their websites. I mean, I guess that's smart because some websites are very difficult to navigate or find what you need and that's very annoying. There's two left. The next one is make calls as a mystery shopper, companies are looking for people to call their customer service agents and industry competitors and report back on the experiences or prices. You know what? I've recently had several, a couple uh, incidents with customer service reps that were amazing. I don't know what it is. It's like years for years and years, my experiences with customer service was crap. And I have had my last two people I've talked to, one was an, um, an insurance question, one was something else. They were just amazing. Um, but I guess, so yeah, you can have mystery shop rings where you go into a store, but I never heard that you could like do the mystery shopper calling in. Yeah. Why is my bill so high? I don't know what you would say. The last one is to sell your stuff. Sure, we've all had Craigslist and eBay, but consider how many things you own that you don't actually use, wear, or need. Have we talked about that on this channel or what? You might start by taking an inventory of your closet. I like that this talks about the websites where you can sell your stuff. Now get this, remember this though. Let's say you bought this sweater for $25, right? 
if I try to sell this no name brand sweater on any site, I'll be lucky to get six or seven bucks. Do not expect to get close to or even 50% of what you spent on clothing items. The one thing that typically does have sell better are like name brand sunglasses or name brand wallets or handbags. Those typically have a better return. But this says you can go on to Poshmark, The Real Real, I can't, I can't, I don't know what that is, Trade Z, Rebag, or Depop. I have um, been on Poshmark. I remember I did sell, actually I sold a overpriced diaper bag on Poshmark. And I think I made, I think I spent, I think I got 40% of the actual cost back. So you know what, it was something. What other good side hustles have you guys experienced or had or can recommend down below so that anybody who watches this video can maybe get a few more ideas? Put those down below, I would love to hear them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you back for more videos. Oh,